Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be looking at how we can bypass Windows Defender using a publicly available tool, the Fowler's PE Loader. We have already demonstrated the usage of the tool in the previous video, but Microsoft was quick to pick it up and it is able to detect the tool now. We will be showing how we can bypass the detection to enable the Fowler's PE Loader tool to work again. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's try to download the code first and compile it using Visual Studio. Oh no, it appears that Google Chrome is able to pick it up and prevent it. That's pretty annoying. Let's try to download it using PowerShell directly. Once that is done, we can extract the zip file. Immediately, there is a detection from Windows Defender, but that is okay. This is triggering due to the Mimikatz binary in the zip file. We can just ignore it and proceed. Let's compile it now. We can fire up Visual Studio on our Windows and load the project. Upon execution, we can see that Defender was able to pick it up and kill it off. Okay guys, from here onwards, it will be basically showing my attempts to bypass Windows Defender by modifying the source code such as changing the variable names, removing some statements and even adding some if conditions to check if a passcode is supplied along with the common line arguments. I have decided to keep this footage in the video instead of editing it out. If you guys are not interested in seeing the failed attempts, you can skip forward using the timestamp provided below to the successful attempt straight away to save some time. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall
quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, push hand to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather lead than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Ultimately, we were able to reach a step whereby we can execute the Fowler's P loader binary file and load Mimikatz remotely. It's pretty awesome, but it was still detected and killed off by Microsoft Defender. It must be the behavior of the binary that is triggering the detection instead of some hard-coded signatures. One bright idea that came to my mind is to modify the compilation so that it produces a DLL instead of an EXE file. This should definitely work. But one downside of this is that interactive binaries such as Mimikatz will not be able to load successfully. We can still modify the code to execute Mimikatz command by hard coding it but it will be more tedious. So what we can do here is to use a MSF Venom generated Metapreter reverse shell as a proof of concept instead of using Mimikatz. We can demonstrate the bypass of Windows Defender using it as well. Let's give it a shot. Now let's copy the necessary parts required to produce a DLL payload. Let's paste it into our main function of the Fowler's PE loader source code. Now let's try to compile it. Oh, we forgot to remove the main method. Let's do that. Now, we will need to hard code all the arguments such as the HTTP server IP address, the port number, the payload and the key names. Alright, let's try to compile it. Okay, we will need to link the WinHTTP library. Let's add in the following arguments to our compilation command. Awesome, we now have a DLL payload file.
Nice, there is no Windows Defender detection upon touching the disk. Let's try to execute it. Whoa, this worked as expected. Awesome. We can see that we have successfully bypassed Windows Defender and obtained a functional Metabrita reverse shell. So this is pretty cool. In this video, we have demonstrated that it was possible to make use of publicly available tools such as the Fowler's PE Loader to bypass Windows Defender and obtain a functional Metabrita reverse shell. This video shows that besides making modifications to the source code, we can also try to produce a different PE file type entirely such as a DLL file instead of an EXE. I hope you all have found this video to be useful and interesting. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!